Desire for the word is a sign of growth. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 2 I fed you with milk and not with solid food for until now you were not able to receive it and even now you are still not able so there's an expectation that apostle paul had toward uh, uh, the the church of the corinthians and he expected them to grow up in the word of god to have a greater capacity to receive the word to assimilate the word to understand it um, and, and then live it out unfortunately uh, he he uh, says that you know they they were not in a position to receive the solid food the meat of god's word and, and they remained uh, babies in God, they remain babies, uh, as in receiving the milk of the word, meaning the the preliminary and and the basic revelations of God's word. That's all uh, they were feeding on. That's all they they were living on. But Apostle Paul is talking about a capacity that we can have uh, in God to receive much more of the word. So a hunger for the word is a definite indicator uh, of whether or not we we are growing. Uh, and we are growing naturally in God even even in our physical uh, uh, being when we lose our appetite when we are not hungry you know, there's something to worry about because uh, our, our body is not functioning uh, in its full capacity and in the same manner in our spirit man if there, there comes a point where for whatever reason uh, we are not desiring the word of God anymore uh, it, it's really something to take notice and 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 work on uh, because we've got to be craving for the word of God. In another place, Apostle Paul makes a uh, reference of uh, craving for the for the pure uh, pure milk of the word, the way babies uh, desire milk. And, and that's the attitude we've got to have towards the word of God, where where it it is it is that food uh, which keeps us alive it's that food that strengthens us and we can't do without the word of god and so dependence on the word desire of the word is extremely important for our spiritual growth uh, and abiding in the word as we know will bring spiritual fruitfulness john 15 and verse 8 by this my father is glorified that you bear much fruit so you will be my disciples and john 15 verse 5 has this to tell us i am the wine you are the branches he who abides in me and i in him bears much fruit for without me you can do nothing uh, and as long as we are abiding in the word of god one thing we can be sure of is that uh, we are becoming more and more fruitful uh, in the things of God and, and He is enabling us uh, to, to step out uh, and experience the fullness of who He is and the fact that God is glorified through our fruitfulness. And so there's so much in the desire of the word. There is spiritual growth in the desire of God's word. There's also fruitfulness and blessing uh, and the glorifying of God uh, in, in being engaged in the word of God. So uh, let's pray that God will give us such a desire, that he will give us such a hunger, that we'll keep growing in his word. We'll keep moving to the next level. Uh, and the way Apostle Paul expected uh, uh, the believers to come to a capacity to receive more may we also increase in our capacity to receive the meat of God's word let's pray Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word of God thank you that your word is the incorruptible seed Father, thank you that your word is able to bear fruit and it's able to sanctify us, O God. Lord, I pray that you will give us the uh, desire, Lord, for your word. Lord, there are things in our lives, O God, that, that are, uh, uh, Lord, um, removing that appetite for your word father uh, i just come against those hindrances in the name of jesus and father i i cast them out in the mighty name of jesus and i pray god that each one of us father god will will keep desiring more of you and keep hungering after you lord thank you lord you're a god who fills those who hunger and we praise you that you're going to fill us also in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.